Hi, you guys, you're cutting out a little bit, um, but I, I heard for the most part what you were saying. And I just want to say um, this is such an honor right now to be sitting in the living room with this family who has invited us in and also a refugee from Kyiv. Uh, who fled the city and we'll be talking to all of them about that thank you for having us it is an honor especially because earlier we were in the supermarket supply chains were low things were running off the shelves so uh, it's it's really appreciated we have theodore we have marislava and her daughter also marislava nicola and mark our translator so thank you again um theodore let's start with you i think americans right now want to know how ukrainians are feeling and how life has changed in the last three weeks um, yeah, in, 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 overnight, basically, our lives have changed drastically. Everything has changed, and we are, I would say, very, very angry, and we're ready to fight, and we're doing everything we can for us to survive, because this war is a war of survival. Basically, it's either us who survive or, or the Russians. And if maybe you could translate um, for the parents, but ask them how this has changed the last three weeks. I'm sure she's worried about her kids. <laughs> From the start, she was very worried. She used to cry in the start, but now she, she, she feels better. Yeah, in, in the start, the school had online t classes, but uh, no one came there except for Miroslava. Now, now they have. Now we have the uh, school breaks. <laughs> and that's a really important question because uh, both parents are professors, and so school, I believe, started this week. Can you ask them what it's been like being back in class for all the people who are uh, getting used to that again? Важко, складно, коли тільки розпочалось заняття. Я не знала просто, що говорити студентам. Важко було думати про предмет, коли така складна ситуація в країні. І розпочинати роботу було дуже важко. Але з іншого боку, ми розуміли, що моя основна робота, я викладач, а моїх студентів – це навчання. Um, it was very difficult for everyone because people didn't know, you don't know what to say in such a situation and uh, it was difficult but people understand at the same time that it's their job that they have to do it for, the, for everything to function well. Theodore, what are Ukrainians overall saying about Putin right now? Um, I already said that everyone is very, very angry and uh, um, yeah, there are a lot of bad things said about Putin and uh, I think he's, he's earned the names, frankly. Yeah. <laughs> We've seen a lot of um, that famous phrase now from Snake Island that those soldiers exclaimed before they were taken hostage that is now on uh, bags and all over uh, Ukraine. Uh, I want to talk to you also about you know, some Russian family members haven't believed their Ukrainian family members that all of this could happen or is happening. Has that been your experience? Exactly. Um, I think our family is, is a good example of the power of propaganda, especially of Russian TV. Basically, our family members in Russia indeed do not believe us that we are shelled now. My grandparents now have, have been sitting without electricity for a week. They have, uh, they had, yeah, some terrible, terrible experiences. And then the people on the other side, once spoken to via, via phone, they, they just don't believe it. They, they still think that it's a typical, uh, they call it a military operation, which just targets, military targets, which, which is obviously absolutely not true. And I know Zelensky delivered a speech to the U.S. Congress today. I think we have video of that. You guys didn't see it. Uh, I know some people saw the videos that he was showing during that speech. But um, this is for you. I, I want to know, now you are a Zelensky fan. He wasn't necessarily before. Як ви зараз відноситесь до Зеленського? Це змінилося? Дуже позитивно, дуже позитивно, бо дійсно це є лідер нації, і він дуже багато робить його для України. А то, що війна має бути, я викладаю історію права. Це є такий предмет у нас, і я завжди говорив, що Росія... Дуже довгий час я це говорю. Більше 20 років. 
Um, so uh, he thinks that um, he, quite positively now. People people understand Zelensky and apprehend him very positively now, which was not necessarily the case before the war. Uh, and he also says that uh, he teaches a subject which is called history of law, and he's been telling that uh, a war is possible for a very, very long time, and it happened. Thank you all so much. Do we have time for two more questions? I know we're on a, a tight ship here. Um, I'm curious about their plan in the coming weeks and also Lviv becoming a safe haven for refugees. Um, do we have time? I think we do. Okay. So can you guys talk quickly about, you know, what is your plan in the coming weeks? This is for anyone who wants to answer and if you could translate. Like at what point will they leave if, if soldiers come in? Because there was just a blast a couple days ago right near the city. Напевно, нічого не станеться, тому що з своєї землі ми не покинемо. Тут наша батьківщина і наша рідна земля. В нас була така можливість, але я не уявляю причини, яка би змусила жити мене поза межами своєї країни. Ми громадяни цієї країни і, мабуть, нехай йдуть геть ті, хто вторгся за її кордони. Я можу сказати, they're not going to leave. Um, the, the family is going to stay um, because it's it's our land and uh, it's uh, it's the place we're born uh, into. And uh, the people who came to invade us, um, yeah, they should go, not not us. Я є викладач університету, і я довгий час студентам студентів навчаю любити свою батьківщину. І якщо б я це не дай Боже міг їхати за кордон, то я би пішов проти своїх принципів і проти свого життя. Тобто якому я присвятив науці як науковець, як So the father of the family works as a professor as already mentioned and what he does is he teaches students to love their homeland and to give everything to their homeland and if he would leave then he would basically go against his own teaching which is unacceptable. <laughs> Thank you all. I really, I'm just, again, I know I've said it, I'm so honored. And uh, this is our beloved Mark, who we've heard from many times, who we'll continue to talk to while we remain here in Lviv. Uh, you know, they've all welcomed refugees so much with open arms, and that's been really important to them uh, as, as a matter of pride. And Ukrainians saying they've never been so united. Jess and Frank, I'll send it back to you. What a, a touching scene to, A, for you to be invited into their home this way, but also to see just something as simple as yeah. the family getting together for a meal like this uh, really says so much. And please express our thanks to them and our, and our good luck to them. Definitely thanks, Christina. Definitely will. They say thank you. Yeah. <laughs> they thank appreciate you. you letting us in. Thank you guys so much. Okay. All I'll right. see you guys soon. Be safe.